Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, KK Concepts of Electrical Engineering. Up to now, in previous videos, we studied basic relations which are applicable to static electromagnetic fields. Let us see a few of them. These are all the basic relations used in static electromagnetic fields. And later on, we came to know that time varying electric field produces magnetic field and time varying magnetic field produces electric field, which is nothing but time varying fields. Now, is these relations valid for time varying fields? Uh, some of the relationships are quite valid and applicable and some of them need straight modification. The modification needed to a set of basic relations termed as Maxwell's equations, which is quite essential for proper understanding and analysis of electromagnetic waves. So let us discuss about the Maxwell's equations. Let us try to find the Maxwell's equations and point form gradient plus H equals to J. This is derived from Ampere's circuital law. Integral form, this can be written as closed integral h dot dl equals to surface integral j dot ds. Gradient cross E equals to 0. So these are the four Maxwell equations we studied in static electromagnetic fields. The gradient cross H equals to J. This is derived from the Ampere circuital law. This is our integral form. Similarly, gradient cross E equals to zero. This is derived from Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. And the integral form is this. And similarly, this is gradient dot D is rho V. This is derived from Gauss law of static electric field. And this is our integral form. And in words, we define this relation as total electric flux passing through any closed surface is equal to the total charge in that volume enclosed by the closed surface. And this is fourth equation that del dot B equals to zero derived from Gauss law of steady magnetic field. This is our integral form. And in words, we can define this as the net magnetic flux emerging from a closed surface is zero. This being one and two, three and four. So in these four equations, third and fourth equation which are derived from the Gauss law of electromagnetic fields are valid and applicable for time varying fields. But the first and second relations we need to modify. Let us see the modified versions of first and second equations. Modifying the first Maxwell's equation. We have that del cross H equals to J yes, in steady magnetic field. Taking divergence on both sides for this equation, del dot del cross H equals to del, del dot J. So the divergence of curl of a vector equals to 0. Then this need to be equals to 0. And this equation will be equals to 0. Let this be equation A. According to the Pantene equation that del cross j equals to minus dou rho v by dou t where rho is the volume charge density and equation number a is true provided this one equals to zero but time varying electric fields this condition fails fails in time varying fields. So we need to modify this equation so that it will be valid for time varying field del cross h equals to j plus g let it be. A g is an unknown quantity. So let us try to find out this. Now Take the same divergence of divergence curl of H equals to divergence of 
j plus divergence of j as we know the divergence of curl of vector is equals to zero this is equals to zero then del dot j plus del dot j equals to zero from which we can write del dot j equals to del dot j that is minus therefore from this continuity equation that del dot j equals to minus rho dv by dt then here del dot g equals to dou rho v by dou t but we know rho v equals to divergence of d when I substitute this value this is going to become dou del dot d divided by dou t which is equals to del dot dou d by dou t which is equals to del dot g from this we can write g equals to dou d by dou t so we found the unknown quantity g let this be equation number one now substituting the value of g in the equation one then del cross h equals to j plus dou d by dou t conduction current density j okay. dou d by dou t is displacement current density so this is our modified maxwell equation for time varying fields then that is del cross h equals to fifth equation this is j plus dou d by dou d there are four and the circuit law itself of Maxwell equation. The integral form will become integral h dot dl equals to surface integral j plus dou d by dou t of ds. Now, in words, you can say that the magnetomotive force MMF around a closed path is equal to the surface integral of conduction current density and displacement current density over the surface bounded by a closed path. And this is valid for time varying fields. Now, let us modify the Maxwell's second equation for time varying fields. Modifying Maxwell's equation that is del cross a equals to zero now according to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction the mf induced in a closed circuit due to time varying magnetic field is given by e equals to minus d phi by dt volts now we know phi equals to closed surface b dot ds now substitute that in this then you are going to get e equals to minus d by dt surface integral of b dot ds if the assumption is made that the circuit is stationary and flux linking is changing that only b is time varying then this equation e equals to closed integral e dot dl equals to minus surface integral db by dt of ds let this be equation number one and emf in scalar quantity we know that e equals to closed integral of e dot dl so a and b combined gives us equation number one now a stokes theorem states that e dot dl equals to surface del cross e dot ds then this is equation number two from one and two we can write surface integral of del cross e dot ds equals to minus surface integral of db by dt dot ds both integrals are surface integrals and the surfaces involved are identical hence we can write this as del cross e is equals to minus db by dt 
This is our modified Maxwell's equation for time varying fields. So let us write this del cross E equals to minus dB by dt. It's derived from Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and modified Maxwell's equation. An integral form for this is closed integral E dot dl equals to minus surface integral dv by dt dot ds. These are modified Maxwell's equation for time varying fields in both point and integral forms and it states that the EMF around a closed path is equal to the surface integral of time rate of change of magnetic flux density over the surface bounded by the closed path. You can see the first one, two, three, four are now one, two, three, four. These four Maxwell's equations are valid and applicable for static electromagnetic fields and 3, 4, 5, 6 are valid for time varying fields. So in which these two equations which derived from Gauss laws are applicable for both static and time varying fields. So in addition to this Maxwell's equations we have one more equation that is observed in the derivation of del cross h equals to j plus dot d by dot t e, which is derivation or modification of this equation number one from which we can say that del cross j equals to zero and closed integral surface integral j dot ds equals to zero integral form for static fields and for time varying fields del cross j equals to minus dou rho v by dot t e as and integral form closed surface integral j dot ds equals to minus volume integral of dou dv by dt into dou v. If you have any suggestions and queries, please mention in the comments. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. Please stay tuned for more videos.